Coming to you straight from the heart of Hollywood, California, welcome to the Early Late Night Show. Here's your host, Dixie D'Amelio. Hello everyone, it's Dixie D'Amelio and welcome back to another episode of the Early Late Night Show. Today, I have two guests, which I'm super excited for. Welcome the Mion Twins. I put paper. Wait, I won. What the heck? Okay. <laughs> I kind of figured that was going to happen. I lose all the time. How are you? What's Good. Up? How are you? We're great. I'm great. Um, awesome. I have tons of questions for you guys. I, nothing, like, I'm literally obsessed. Um, I watch a lot of your guys' content. Really? Like, all the time. I was just telling them before. The Triller Compound Show, I watch every episode. Do you really? Like, I will sit and just watch. I think it's so interesting and so funny. It's like, so I dramatic, have, too. And I watch it as, like, a fan, so I, yeah. like, don't look at it like, oh, my God, I know these people. For some reason, my whole For You page is the Triller Compound. Really? really? Yes. That's so <laughs> funny. Why is that? <laughs> I love how you guys, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be happening You know, it's so us funny. Actually, we, when we saw you guys in um, Atlanta, mm -hmm. your mom came up to us, and she goes, me and Dixie watch you guys' show all the time. And I was like, wait, really? She goes, yeah. And then she was talking to Markel. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wait, that's awesome. That made me so happy. Yeah, I love that. No, I loved it, like, Aww. a lot. But um, how was filming that? Oh, Dude. okay, so you know what I have to say? Like, we both are, we're very social. We love talking to people. And, like, being in front of the cameras is very natural for us because so, we've been doing it for so long. So, like, that wasn't really, like, our worry, or you know, if anything. But I think my biggest concern was just knowing that the mic was on me all day long. And anything I said or anything I felt was, like, put on the spot, like someone in the room knew how I was feeling, mm -hmm. which is a lot of pressure because sometimes you want to keep certain things to yeah. yourself where you don't want to talk about certain things and then you're kind of just put on blast and they're like, no, talk about it. And you're like, I don't really want to. But in general, the entire experience was incredible. It was all so real. So, and we just as a house got to spend so much time together. Mm -hmm. Oh, we all got so close so because close. like at the compound, like, the house is, it's so big that literally I sometimes don't even know who's there. Who's there? Like, I'll wake up, like, I don't know who's home, I don't know anything, but for the show, we had to move to a different house for three months, so we all were, like, in a lot more of a closed space, so. Oh, so that's not the house you live in? No. no. So it was weird because it was just, like, a whole issue with, like, I don't know, like, the property. I don't even know mm -hmm. what it was, really, but we had to move for three months to this other house, and it was so different for all of us because it was, like, so much more closed in. Everyone had to be there every day. We're no filming. personal space. No personal space. Like they will put you guys in situations sometimes of like making you talk to this person because they know you don't want to talk to that person. Right. So it was like a lot of complication <laughs> and like it was great, but definitely like overwhelming. The first two weeks, like I had so many breakdowns. Like the one we had days off, I was like, I can't do this. Like I'm gonna go crazy. Really? But then like a month you in, you it. get used to it. And you kind of get comfortable, and then you just say just how you feel and like you don't really get bothered by the cameras at all. Mm -hmm. Which I I feel like I learned a lot of like. Um, more about myself filming the show than I ever have in my life. That's true. Which is so weird. Are you guys going to be doing another season? We were just talking, we were just about, talking about it, actually. About it. We don't know. I mean, if the opportunity presented itself, like, I'm down for it. Like, it seems like a lot of people like it, but I did notice that a lot of people in the house were very, because it was it's time consuming. Mm -hmm. And, you know, yeah. everyone else has, you know, their music Priorities career, their acting and... career that they're trying to pursue. And yeah. I think it was a bit of a distraction. And it's just like, it takes a lot of time. So I just think if we're all down and on the same page for it, like, I'm super down to do it. I would love to do it. And, like, I just got to mentally prepare myself and know that's what I want. Mm -hmm. But I'm down, like. It'll be fun. So you guys have both been on social media for a while, yes. right? How did that start? So it's actually crazy because people don't know this. We started on YouTube uh, like seven or maybe almost coming, eight years ago. Eight years ago, yeah. um, we were there was a pair of twins on YouTube that we were a huge fan of. Their names were Brooklyn and Bailey, and we mm -hmm. watched them religiously growing up. And they and the inspired Dolan us, twins. and the Dolan twins, yeah. And they inspired us to like start our own channel. And for our 13th birthday, our parents gave us a YouTube channel. Because at first, it was not that it was looked down upon, but our parents are kind of old fashioned. You know, mm -hmm. it's more They're like get strict. your education, stay offline, like, you know, yeah. do what you gotta do. But um, uh, they saw how passionate we were, and then at a young age, we would film like really cringy like music videos oh my <laughs> like really god bad. it's so all bad. on mom's facebook page and we would you know post and film those we're gonna we dig just, it up now i know probably search our mom on facebook find <laughs> the old videos but yeah we just always had interest like being in front of the camera and just had that personality for it so 
a, it didn't really work out for us like well, all we were doing it for years. so long like we weren't making money or anything we did it out of pure like enjoyment of it yeah we would literally sit like we were going to college too at the time like after we finished high school we vlogged like pretty much our whole high school experience and college experience and college but um literally i'll never forget like we were going to college in the city like in manhattan because we're mm -hmm. from new york it would take us two oh, hours you guys are from new york yeah Oh, I didn't know. We that. just really? moved out here like nine, eight, not nine even months. Oh, I'm from Connecticut. Hey. Wait, oh, really? Yeah. Because because how do we know? <laughs> I was gonna say I'm surprised we haven't known. Sweden. No, but yeah, we went to school in the city, so it was a two-hour commute every mm -hmm. single day that we were going to school to and go and then to come back. So it's four hours of commuting. Yeah, and, and then we had a retail job, and we had a retail job, and we were trying to do YouTube. We were editing our own videos. It took like eight hours of video to edit, and we saw no progress. Like mm -hmm. literally, like it got to a point where it was like, this just isn't it. Like we just can't do it anymore. Like maybe it's not for us. And then that's when COVID hit. Mm -hmm. We started TikTok. TikTok. And we didn't really have a following until August of 2020. Because one of our videos blew up. It got like 85 million views. And then we went from like 300K followers to like a million overnight. And then literally August, August is just, when it just kind of like, yeah. Wow. It, it happened like overnight. Literally a life changed overnight. Seriously. So insane. weird. Did you guys ever have like competition between each other? You know what it was? Ooh, being twins I'm normally, very competitive. yeah, but being and twins so normally, you get compared to for everything, yeah. so it's gonna be constant competition no matter what you do. Mm -hmm. So we always tried to kind of like tell each other, like, no, we're both great, like, we both are just, you know, equally good, but obviously that competitive side does come out. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I will say, Oscar is usually better at a lot of things than me. No, definitely not. We balance each other out. There's I things guess that I'm good at that I'm like, then that she can't do, or things that she's we're a good so team. good at that I'm like, I like, I'm sure you and Charlie are the same way. Like, you guys just work yeah. well together. It's just like a sibling thing. Yeah. I, I mean, Charlie and I were always like, let's not do any the same of anything because we don't want that competition. Mm. But, like, okay. So, like, she like danced, that. I played field hockey. Or even if we did it, like, we would both do each other's things, but we were like, oh, I'm not good at that. Like, that's your thing. Right. We would never try to. That's why when we both started TikTok, she would do the dancing. And I'm like, I don't want to do that. That's your thing. That's I'm your not going to. I'll be the one who doesn't dance or exactly. something. Mm -hmm. Just because then you get the comparing comments. Like you still get the like, oh, she's prettier, you're pretty. It's like that dumb stuff, but it's yeah. like, if you have that connection, I mean, my sister and I are best friends. I'm guessing you guys are best, best friends. Best friends, <laughs> yes, for sure. Like you just are like, that's so, st that's so stupid. And yeah. it changes every day. When you guys started coming out here, was it like, was there anyone that you met that you were like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm here. You know, literally the entire really house that think. I live with. So I feel like we both were just like on the fan end of social media for the longest that yeah. if you name any TikToker or any YouTuber, even from like 10 years ago, I could guarantee you we probably watched them. So everyone in the house that like I live with now, I was a fan of. Like the mm -hmm. trio I was a fan of, Markel, whatever. Like your, you and your sister, mm -hmm. like huge fan. And then mm -hmm. when I'm at the place that I am now, I'm like, I gotta kind of tone that down because I'm kind of in the same setting now. So it's like just a different perspective. And now just being friends with everyone, I'm like, I can't have that same fan energy mm -hmm. that I used to, but I get starstruck very easily. I, like, I don't think you do as much as I do. But I used to in the beginning. Have you ever sneaked a picture of someone that you live with now? Oh. Or anyone, like when you were visiting? I have, so I'm. Who? The first time I came, Lil Huddy. <laughs> really? No way. I was just like, because I was a person, like, I was just a fan. I was like, oh my God, right, yeah. Lil Huddy, like a little e boy, blah, whatever. So I was like, <laughs> so I like took a picture. I'm pretty sure I've showed him, but like, I have a picture of like, I was like, that on the couch. That is Wait, great. Okay, no, I actually don't have something like that because it's, it's weird how it happened. Like, the first time we came to visit, like that was like the same day like that Taylor messaged us to move into the house. So like everything just happened like one, two, three. Like wow. we didn't even have time to really see anyone out here before we just got like pushed into the house. But the night that we did meet Taylor, Nate, Markel and everyone and he asked us to join the compound, we literally went back to like our hotel, whatever. Oh my God, I remember that. And my older sister snuck a video of our reaction. And we were and just we're sitting, sitting there like, <laughs> just really like this, blank face. Like what's her life? So like what do we do now? Oh my gosh, like is this it? Like, like, like literally it's that. the funniest video <laughs> ever. And I literally told Taylor about he goes, show me. I was like, I'm never showing you. That video is <laughs> never so awesome. It was just so funny, but we never had time to really have that like moment of like seeing someone because literally as soon as we got out here, it was like we moved in and like yeah. you yeah. never really So it's had like that. you need to get it get like you're right living with these people. Yeah, literally. Get, get it together. That mindset. Is what you guys want to do like start your own clothing brand or do stuff like that? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so that's so funny you said that. Like that's like our biggest thing, which people don't really know because 
you know, we just make TikTok videos or whatever. Mm -hmm. You just see us like on the internet. But because we studied fashion in um, college and it was just always a big passion of ours, we actually want to, um, we want to move to South Korea mm -hmm. for maybe like six months to a year, some point in our life to study mm -hmm. South Korean streetwear fashion because that's like, just so sick mm -hmm. to me like their fashion is insane but we were learning the language yeah we've been learning Korean for like about a year and a half now just on our own just wow. so we can go there one day and move and just learn about fashion over there but we do want to start our own clothing company I'm not gonna give away too much detail but I will say like um, so we do dress pretty modestly like we don't really show a lot of skin um, you know for religious purposes so we would make a clothing brand that's like unisex clothes for guys and girls and mm -hmm. it's like guys and girls can both wear it and it's pretty modest like that baggy look mm -hmm. um, we just have like a whole idea for it but yeah. so we definitely cool. want to execute it perfectly so like we're yeah. waiting on that so who's older i'm older nine oh. minutes older sadly oh i hold it again so even though it's only nine minutes I'm i mean like, yeah, of absolutely. course every twin i've met they're like no i'm older i'm like you're mature. just proud of it mm -hmm. that's what it is I'm she's just the boss she's like the boss over me <laughs> but you know what you i'm like the ditzy one yeah, that's true. I feel like you're my younger sister sometimes. And she, I'm like, okay, well, <laughs> I don't know <laughs> about you know all that. that. You know that though. Sometimes you act like the younger sister. You, you know what it is? I just have the fun personality compared to the both of us. She's more like, what? Not like that. Like she's more professional than mm -hmm. I am, and I just take more of the fun side. Yeah. I would like to disagree with that. You can ask Markel. You can ask anyone in the house. <laughs> I'm the fun twin. Yeah, I don't know what's happened to me lately. I've kind of the roles have switched. become a little boring. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> going into relationships in the house is that weird like seeing your sister with someone and like that so here's the thing you want to go first <laughs> you can go first actually <laughs> so Aisha and Nate like that's obviously what I, you're talking about yeah. um they're not together they never were together mm -hmm. we're just but friends. they're just friends on social media, it looks like they're together. You watch like these Nisha videos and stuff like that. I do think they have, you guys definitely, just the way they look at each other, I'm just like, come on. I tell Aisha this all the time. Like, I, you see, like, I see the way she interacts with Nate and like the way he interacts with her. Like, it's obviously like they're very flirty with each other. They, like, we just have, have that personality. It. I get that. Yeah. Yeah, they I'm do, on... but. Yeah, let me hear what you <laughs> say. I want to hear your side. Well, what do you think? I have had a similar situation and Shoot. it was like weird because like it was kind of one-sided mm. and like really it didn't really make sense and we, it was just like for the internet I mean we'd like hang out but it was never it's kind of weird because like you see it on the internet and then you see the comments and you're like oh wait is this real yes right that's, that's... what's confusing because like when even Noah, like if I see he posts a video with someone and they're like ship ship, I'm like, oh my god, are they in love with each other? It like gets in your head. Oh, so that's yeah. why I get like if you're reading that all the time and seeing edits and like, oh my god, look yeah. at the way they looked it's at exactly each other here. You know what it is? It's like we know we're good friends and like there's no, like we genuinely like there's nothing more to that right now. Like we're just friends. Mm -hmm. But when you constantly see like the ship edits or like the comments, the comments, you start to question like, do I have to feel a certain way right now about yeah. him or like does he have to feel a certain way about me? But I'm, I'm just glad we're both very self-aware, yes. which is like so important. I think just very mature of both of us to just be mm -hmm. like, no, like. We're friends. Plus, we live together. Like that gets yeah. messy. Like, can you guys joke about it? Yeah, we can okay. for, they sure. Do joke about it, for and, sure. And uh, like, and I will say, like, I'm gonna address this on here because I already know I'm gonna get a lot of questions about it. Like, the show is gonna come out with an episode soon, um, where it seems like he kind of broke my heart, and it, they kind of twisted it though, because I actually broke down because I was um, overwhelmed mm -hmm. by a lot of people asking me about how my day went because they made us to like go get coffee, and I was more just overwhelmed that like I had to talk about like how I felt and like just tons of people asking me you know about mm -hmm. how I was feeling that that's why I was really upset but I wasn't upset about like the conversation we had so mm. also the show does kind of that story isn't really clear in it and it yeah. makes it seem like he broke my heart when that was not the case at all so it's just like we're friends we're, we just we hang out it's just a good friendship look at this one making a face <laughs> over here I just hey, see it in the hey. corner of my eye I'm not saying anything all right guys now we're gonna play a little game me mm. or her Okay. We have some signs. I'm going to ask you guys some questions. Oh, okay. Oh, gosh. Okay, first question. Who is most likely to fall in love with his or her best friend? <laughs> first one. <laughs> Who wrote these? Very not strong. Ready? Mm -hmm. Go. I will, all, you know what? Let me clarify before all y'all go crazy. I would say this is because, like, I. 
I love easily. I catch feelings very easily. This one doesn't. So I'd fall hard for someone that just looks at me a certain way, you know? I said that too. Like, I'm like, like, someone could literally say like my full name and I'm like, oh my God, are we gonna literally. get married? Or like they could touch my shoulder and I'd be like, oh my God, like butterflies. <laughs> I just, it's easy for me to like someone. Okay, who's most likely to marry someone they just met? <laughs> Okay, okay, I thought you disagreed yeah, with me. Yeah, no, same no, definitely. thing. Who's most likely to move out of the compound? Ooh, okay. Why? Honestly, sometimes I contemplate this. I'm like, what if I just pack my bags and just move across the world? Like, I would just, like, you know, mm -hmm. change your life completely. 360. I don't think I'd ever do it. If I had an alter ego, she would do it. <laughs> she would do it. She I only said you because, like, I'm very comfortable, mm -hmm. and change to me is not something I like. Oh, I so love change. I feel like she would like I love that. doing new things, I love trying new stuff. I'm, I j I've am i never been like that, though. Just recently, I've been more like open Ex to, yeah, to trying new things. Yeah, that's good. Interesting. Who is most likely to go days without showering? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I say this, because I'm very put together, but for some reason, if I get to choose. Like, if we're gonna, you know, say who's messier, I'm messier, so that's why mm, I'll okay. associate it with that. I'm clean, I, I okay, promise. Okay, the thing about me is like, so even I, like my biggest thing, like everyone thinks this is so weird, like if I'm talking to a guy, Hygiene, mm -hmm. hygiene, like showering, smell, teeth, like well, yeah, you see too. under their nails. Yes. Oh my gosh, mm -hmm. clean nails, nice hands. Attractive. Okay, well now you make me sound dirty. I look at that too. <laughs> I promise. No, I'm just saying. Like, if I was a big, you're just messy or something. Yeah. Who's most likely to be late? Fashionably late. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> I like take my, my thing is, time. is my me time is in the morning when I get ready, like mm -hmm. doing makeup, doing my hair. I love all that stuff. So I will be late. I'll usually be waiting for her for about half an hour. Every time. Calm down. 20 minutes. Calm down. At least 15. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I take a while. Who's most likely to start an argument? <laughs> You know what? It's crazy. When people no, meet us, I will. I just gotta say this real quick. People think I'm the mean one, right? Because mm -hmm. I have the resting face. I can make harsh jokes. But if you ask anyone from our family, is this one okay? Right? Family, <laughs> yes. Friends, you love to pick at arguments. No, no, no. I don't like to pick at arguments. I just, if I know, okay. So I'm the type of person where, like, if I believe something, like, I feel like I'm right. Like, I'm just like that. Like, mm -hmm. I cannot be like. Uh, but I will admit when I'm wrong. But if I feel like I'm right, I will pick an argument, especially with you. I just put kill people with kindness because it annoys them more. Oh my god, it drives me nuts. I'll just be like, is there anything you want me to do to help no, you? No, when I get in an like, argument with yeah. her and she's like smiling, I'm like, it gets her more mad. I'm like, I'm doing <laughs> my job. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. Thank you so much, Azra and Aisha, for being on the show. And thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. Follow them on all their channels. I love you all. Goodbye. Love you. Bye.